Hey guys, this is Vociferous with Halo Waypoint, and we're back again with another episode of Vintage Fisticuffs, the series where we look at the awesome and memorable combat encounters throughout the Halo shooters. This time we're looking at a little something we call the Arc Run from Halo 3, the mission's last vehicular push across an arid and heavily fortified landscape. As the Master Chief, your goal is to pinpoint the location of the Prophet of Truth on the vast forerunner construct known as the Ark. To do this, you'll need a map, a big one. Nope, bigger than that. Yeah, that's about right, but wait, let's go back a little bit. We're not just there yet. Okay, stop. Here's a good place to start. Welcome to the Ark Run. After flipping the switch to open a gate in the containment wall, you're told to secure this large swath of desert, which is at first sight, jaw dropping. You don't have a ton of time to stand there like one o'clock half struck, because right overhead is a Covenant Scarab, a machine with enough firepower to level an entire city, and that firepower will eventually be aimed at your face. But not yet, so don't dawdle. One of the most entertaining components about Halo is choice, giving the player the opportunity to dictate their own path through the battlefield. In Halo 3, this fact is never made more clear than here, in this final stretch of real estate. Right at the beginning, you're given a choice go left and drop down to the scorpion tanks, or snag a gauss hog on the right. This right side path will lead you through a rock formation, back onto the battlefield. But if you make this choice, you have a swift and surgical hog at your disposal. Not satisfied with that approach? Then try tank. The battlefield may seem gargantuan at first look, but with a scorpion at your disposal, you should feel pretty darn confident going in. Upon mounting up, you're immediately faced with a slew of wraiths and choppers. Short work if you're good with the tank's primary cannon. After the first wave, you'll have Ghost added to the mix, which, oddly enough, can be the most troublesome of the lot. Take them out with extreme prejudice. Hesitation here can get you killed super quick. If you've been eyeballing the Phantom from time to time, that's for good reason. This vehicle will deploy heavily armed brutes into a cluster of rocks toward the end of this stint. Take it out well in advance to avoid such nonsense as this. Once you've broken free from the Covenant blockade, a final enemy awaits. Yep. That's right, Mommy's back and she's pissed off. There are tons of different ways players can take out the scare, but whatever you do, be conscious of unexpected encounters with choppers and Covenant heavy weapons below. Apart from the primary and secondary cannons the Scarab offers, the battle platform is covered with enemies. They're not too keen on letting you climb aboard. Once you bludgeon your way onto the back of the beast, you'll come face to face with the energy core nestled within let go low tissue. You know, the stuff hunters are made from. Whether you strike at this thing from up close or far away, you want to be outside the blast radius when this rig lights up. With the scare permanently out of commission, your legacy now includes several acres of alien bodies and Covenant vehicle debris. Nice job. This is Vociferous with Halo Waypoint. Later, folks.